Hello, Laura. Hey, Laura. How's it going? Hello. Hey, everything good? Hey. A little tighter, but I'm good. Thank you. What about you? All right, I'm good. I'm good. You know, just hanging there. Um, yeah. How's your kid? Yes. How is your kid? Ah, and she's fine. She's fine. She's here. <laughs> she's right, here hello. like every night. <laughs> she's she's taking the class as well. Yes. All right. Very good. What about you, Mr. Ramos Duke? Hello. Hey, hello. hello. What's what's her name? Hello. Ariana. Ah oh, yeah, Ariana. Hello, Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, so, anyways, Jose, how's your family? Me. Hmm? Fine. It's Fine. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the what about you, Stephanie? How's your family? How's, how's everyone? My daughter uh, wants to introduce Oh, you. There, there you go. Right? Bring your... Hello! <laughs> Hello, uh, Jose's daughter. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, you okay, right? Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Luis. Hello, Samantha. Hola. Hello. Say, say hello. hello. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. All right, very good. How, how old is she? Excuse me. How old is she? What are you saying? Uh, six. Six old oh. years. Okay. And yours, uh, Laura? And she's 20 months. Oh, she, uh, yeah, she, that's, that's a baby. Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah, you know, that's, that's a real baby. Okay, guys, so um, anyways, welcome. I'm, I'm very glad that you guys are here. All right. So, so today, guys, we are going to learn about conditional, specifically about first conditional, okay? Now, tomorrow, guys, by the way, um, if you haven't finished the platform, well, tomorrow we're going to go over the platform and just make sure that everybody got 100%, okay? Oh. All right. What happened to oh. what happened to the rest today? Anyways, let's get started, guys. Oh. Okay. So, uh, so, guys, what have you heard about conditionals? Who has heard anything about conditionals? ¿Quién ha oído algo acerca de condicionales, guys? Only in programas, programmation. Programming, in programming. Programming. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, right. Conditional so you know, is, uh -huh. if, then. There you go, there you go. <laughs> all right, that's like in English, yes, okay. Uh -huh. There you go, all right. Instead of then, we say something else, but. But okay, right. yeah, that's a conditional, right? Uh, all right, if and then, okay, very good. So who else, guys? Who else has heard anything about conditionals? No, nobody? Okay, that's okay, guys, all right? So today, guys, we're gonna go over, you know, what a conditional is, and we're gonna have some practice, guys, okay? So the objective for today, hello. <laughs> I gotta mute me. <laughs> hey, she might learn English before she speaks Spanish. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I don't have kids myself, but uh, I mean, I do have I I do have like 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 very young sisters from my dad's end, you know. And it's funny because they have. Their, their their accent, the way they speak is like a Discovery Kid accent, you know, Discovery Kids accent. Like they speak like, tu eres, you know, tu eres. Nobody speaks like that. <laughs> so t television raises raise your children. She, uh, she already knows, uh, say words. 
Really? Yes, because I have a, an app in my cell phone, uh, the Fisher Price, and there is there some songs, and one of the songs it says words, words, words. It's a wonderful word. So now she say word, word, word. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute all right very good i actually you should speak in english to her only you know that 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 would be good for her you know for you to speak okay. only in english to her <laughs> all right very good anyway so all right guys so what will you do all right let's answer this question what will you do if it doesn't rain today hey welcome nancy nice to see you welcome Catherine. nice to see you evelyn Nice to see you have a different hairstyle today, too. <laughs> Evelyn es una persona nueva cada día. I like that. All right, so anyways. Um, so let's see, Laura, what will you do if it doesn't rain today? If it doesn't rain today, I will take a bus. Very good, okay. Very good. That, that was just perfect. Okay. Jose, what will you do if it doesn't rain today? I will be a picnic. I will have a picnic. Uh, okay. I will have a picnic. Very good. Uh, Stephanie, what will you do if it doesn't rain today? Um, if it doesn't rain today, I will... Washing the clothes. I will wash. Wash. My clothes. Okay, very good. Uh, Nancy, same question to you. What will you do if it doesn't rain today? I will do the same. I will do the same. I, I will do the same. Okay. I, I will. I will. I will. Do will do I will you do no I will do the same okay I will you do I sing all right very good very good okay right uh Catherine same question to you Catherine what will you do if it doesn't rain today uh if and if it doesn't rain today I will play soccer okay very good I, I always forget, Catherine, that you're 25. No. Last time that no, you told 24. me. 24. Oh, 24. <laughs> okay, yeah. Last time you told me that you were driving, and I'm like, she's like 14. And no, then I remember that you're 24. <laughs> All right, Evelyn, so what will you do if it doesn't rain today? No, if it doesn't rain today, I will if it, if it, go to the park. Okay, if it, repeat, if it doesn't rain today? If it doesn't rain today, uh -huh. rain today, I will go to the park. I will go to the park. Good job, good job, okay, good job. I thought that you were going to say I will change my hairstyle. <laughs> All right, very good, I'm kidding. All right, very good, guys, okay? So notice, guys, okay, this is what we are going to be talking about today, okay? So uh, let me bring up the whiteboard here. So guys, we use conditionals, guys. First of all, let's talk about what a conditional is, okay? So to talk about a conditional, guys, all right, let's talk about a conditional. Okay, what is a conditional? Who can answer this question for me, guys? What is a conditional? Okay, a conditional, guys, is all right condition guys okay uh condition and effect okay condition and effect guys. this is a conditional okay you have a condition and then there will be an effect okay got it so this is a conditional and i misspelled it here conditional right so this is a conditional. So let's talk about uh, 
the use. What do we use conditionals for? Para que usamos condicionales, guys. Okay. So, actually, guys, first of all, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the amount of conditionals we have. Okay. Let's answer these questions. This question. Okay. How how many conditionals are there? Cuántos condicionales hay? What do you think, guys? How many conditionals are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one thousand. What do you think? How many do we have? We have, guys, we have four, okay? We have zero conditionals. We have first conditionals. We have second conditionals. We have four third conditionals, okay? These are the amount of conditionals that we have, okay? Now, zero conditionals, guys. Talk about, we'll talk about facts, okay? Facts, facts, okay? Facts. All right, hechos, guys, All right? Zero conditionals talk about facts. We're not gonna talk about zero conditionals today, but it's important for you to know, to have a general idea, okay? It's important to know, guys, so that you have a general idea, okay? Now, guys, we have first conditionals, okay? And first conditionals, guys, talk about possibilities, right? Those first conditionals, lo que es que vamos a ver hoy, guys, they talk about possibilities, okay? All right? Now, then we have, then we have second conditionals, okay? And second conditionals talk about, and this is in general, okay? Imaginary situations. Hold on. Imaginary situations. And then finally we have third conditionals. You're not gonna see these guys until you get to advanced. But third condition, let's talk about impossibilities, okay? Things that are impossible because they're always in the past, guys, and it is impossible to change the past, okay? Very good. So far, so good, guys? So far, so good. All right, very good, okay? So now, um, now talking about this, guys, let's talk about what we came here to talk about, okay? Let's talk about first conditionals, okay? Now, first conditionals, guys. Guys, can, can I raise up, uh, can I raise this? Can I raise this part, this? Take us, no? Okay, right. Evelyn is saying no, so we'll wait. That's okay, Evelyn, right? Parranda, Evelyn, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so, um, so first conditional, guys. Okay, so we use. All right, so let's talk about the usage. Okay, use. So we use first conditionals. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, there you go. So we use first conditionals, guys, to talk about possibility in the present or future okay what do we use first conditionals for guys to talk about what impossibilities possibilities in the present or the future okay very good all right and then let's get let's take a look at the structure all right so let's take a look at the structure 
So the structure goes as following, guys, okay? You have an if word, okay, followed by, this is gonna be an if clause, it called an if clause, guys, the whole thing, okay? So you have if, hold on, if plus, uh, present, simple present, plus, simple future, guys, okay? You can also, guys, by the way, I forgot something here. You can say if, or you can say when. There is a difference, okay? But you can use both of them. You can say if or when, right? If or when, plus simple present, plus simple future, all right? So let's take a look at one example here. So when I say if or when, guys, all right, if that means that I'm gonna say if. Let's let's work with if right now, okay? So I'm just gonna go with if. All right, that's it. Okay. Now I want you guys to give me a sentence in simple present. Uh, let's see, Catherine. Give me a sentence in simple present, Catherine. I know Catherine. Okay, Stephanie, right? Stephanie, could you please give me? Uh, I think your microphone is not working, Stephanie. All right. Um, All right. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, all right. So, um, no, Stephanie, your, Stephanie, your microphone is working. I mean, Catherine. Catherine, your microphone is not working, Catherine. Stephanie, yours is working, okay? Sorry. All right, Stephanie, all right. So give me a sentence in simple present, Stephanie. Mm, I don't know. If I don't know. All right, very good. Good example, okay? If I don't know. All right, let's continue the sentence, Jose. I don't know speak French. If I don't know how to speak French, okay, very good. I like this, okay? If I don't know how to speak French, all right, give me a sentence in simple future, Laura. I will to go to the academy to learn. All right, listen, you can never say I will too. No suppose that Will, guys, que es un model plus two, okay? Los models nunca llevan two. I will. I will go to the academy to learn. To the academy to learn. Okay, very good. If I don't know how to speak English, I will go to the academy to learn, okay? Very good, okay? This literally translates, guys. Si yo no sé cómo hablar francés, voy a ir, right? O iré a la academia a aprender. Got it? Good job, guys. Good job, okay? Well done. All right, let's have another example, okay? So see, guys, it's easy, right? Simple present and simple future, all right? Evelyn, give me a sentence in simple present. Um, if I have money. If I have money, all right. Now give me a sentence in simple future. I will go. I will go. Go to the mall. I will go to the mall. Very good. Okay. If I have money, I will go to the mall. Very good. Good example. Okay. Nancy, give me another example, Nancy. I don't understand, teacher. Don't worry. Okay. Siga, siga la estructura que está aquí arriba. All right. Esto. Y es de ejemplo, right? Solo sigue el ejemplo. Okay. So, vamos a empezar con if. Mm -hmm. Y ahora usted me da una oración en simple present. Okay. Go ahead. If. 
if I go to the work? If I go to work, very good, see, ¿sí? right, you can do it. If I go to work, ah, ahora una oración en simple future. Okay. Uh, if I will. I will. Um, I will go to the church. I will go to church, okay. Okay. So, si voy a trabajar, voy a ir a la iglesia. Voy a la iglesia. Right, yeah, Lilis, okay? Very good. All right, very good. See, you can do it, okay? All right, who'd like to give me another example, guys? Catherine? Uh, if I want if I want a house, I will be, no, I will be. If I what? A home. If I, if want. I want a, uh -huh. oh, if I want the house. Like uh -huh. this, if I want a house, I will. I will be at home. I will. I will be at home. This um, doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. No, no sé. Uh, what, what be, I will be. I will. No, porque la idea es tener una, un hogar. I will be no sé. I will have a home. Ah. I will have a home. Okay. Very good. Guys, you <laughs> you're trying to translate this, guys. Do not try to translate, okay? But I will tell you something right now, guys. This doesn't mean this doesn't mean podría, okay? No, this is something that is possible, okay? Si yo quiero una casa, voy a oh. tener un hogar. This is what it says, okay? No tiene sentido lo que acabas de decir, but mm -hmm. but it is the right structure, right? Si yo quiero una casa, voy a tener un hogar. Uh -huh. Right? So, uh -huh. so that, that doesn't really make sense. That the idea doesn't make sense, right? But the structure is good, okay? But it's, uh, voy a tener, right? Okay? It's a possibility. You're basically affirming, you know, that, uh, that something is going to happen for sure, okay? Estás afirmando que algo va a pasar realmente, okay? All right? Now, if, guys... Si vos das un ejemplo en tercera persona, let's have another example here, okay? Let me bring up the, let's have more examples here, okay? More examples, okay? So if I say, guys, Chayanne, right? Chayanne will sing, all right? Uh, I guess, hold on, let's go. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, Chayanne, if, if Chayanne comes to El Salvador, coma, he will sing. Okay? So, si Chayanne viene El Salvador, él va a cantar. Got it? A possibility, right? No es que estoy diciendo, él podría, right? No, no es una situación imaginaria, ¿ok? Es una posibilidad. Si hay la posibilidad de que Chayanne venga al Salvador, él va a cantar. ¿Got it? No es imaginario, guys. Es una posibilidad, ¿ok? Cuando es imaginario, usamos second conditionals, not, not first, ¿ok? So now, notice something here, guys. All right? Now, if I say if Chayanne comes to El Salvador, why am I saying comes and not come? Porque estoy diciendo comes and not come. Chayanne is third person. Because Chayanne is in third person, guys, okay? Porque Chayanne, guys, está en tercera persona, okay? Exactly. Now, what if he's, what about he will sing? Why am I saying he will sing and not he will sings? ¿Por qué no digo he will sing? Si es he. Because I have an auxiliary, guys, okay? Porque tengo un auxiliar, will. Will, guys, es un, un modal verb, ¿ok? Que modifica la palabra, el verbo que le sigue, ¿ok? So, si vos tenés un modal, no importa qué pronombre personal tengas, si es tercera persona o no, siempre vas a usar el base form, ¿got it? O sea, guys, después de will, viene base form, ¿yes? All right. Very good, guys. So, 
All right, so now before you work on the exercises that I got prepared for you guys, okay? All right, any questions so far, guys? All right, let's have some examples, okay? Give me, I'll, each of you gives me, give me one example, okay? Jose, all right, give me one example. <clears throat> If my friend uh -huh. uh, come, if my friend come, uh, all right, ya no quiero que me usen el mismo, guys, no me copien, okay? Use okay. your own verbs. If my friend invite, if my friend invite, invites me, maybe. Invites me, okay, to to eat. If my friend invites me to eat, uh huh. What else? Um, we will. Uh, okay. We will. El, langos uh, el Langostino restaurant. We restaurant. will. We will what? Go. Go to. to go to guys. You guys bring answer, okay? Uh -huh. Go to. Langostino. El Langostino. El Langostino. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Okay, so we will go to Langostino. Good job, all right? All right, uh, Evelyn, give me your example, Evelyn. If it's rain today, I will stay at home. I will stay home, very good. Or you can say stay at home. At home. Okay, good job. All right, good job, thank you. Um, Kathy, give me your example, Kathy. If I have money, I can play I will be no, I will um buy your connection is cutting off. Se te está yendo la conexión. I will buy what? A ticket for a concert of cosplay in Costa Rica. A ticket for a concert. Uh Coldplay, the concert no. in cosplay. Costa... Oh, you said player. Cos... Uh -huh. Customer player, cosplay. I thought they said Coldplay. No, but it's Coldplay. Coldplay is a rock band. Coldplay. Yeah. Have you heard The Scientist? Yeah, no? my favorite. Yes, right? So Coldplay, very good. All right, so uh, good job, right? Uh, Stephanie, give me your example, Stephanie. Okay, if she sings. If she sings. No, sing, uh, the look. If she sings, si peca. No, uh, sing, uh, watch. You like this? Yes. No, 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 no. The only second sin, what is this? Sin uh, is the, the past seat? participle. No. So then if she sees, not sin. Sin is a oh, past okay. participle, right? If she sees the horror movie. Okay, if she watches, okay, if she watches the horror movie. She will scary at night. She will be afraid at night, okay? She will be afraid at night. Good job, okay? Very good. And Nancy, give me your example, Nancy. Okay. If doctor. If doctor. Go to hospital. If a doctor goes to a hospital, hospital. 
he will. Uh -huh. He will. He will uh, visit a uh, sick. He will visit the sick patients. Okay. All right, very good. Good job. Okay. Good job, guys. Good, 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 good job. Okay. I like this. Right. Very good. Now, guys, the next part that we're going to see, guys, and I want you to pay attention to this is this. The next part is super easy, guys, but I need you to pay attention. Okay. How do you make negative sentences? Okay. <clears throat> to make negative sentences, guys, it's simple. All you have to do, guys, is you add the particle not. So, for example, okay, instead of saying, if I have money, right? If I have money, I will go to the mall. Instead of saying that, you can say, if I, what is the negative of I don't have, uh, what is the negative of, of I have money, guys? I don't. I don't. Very good. If I, very good. See, simple, right? If I don't have money, very good. So here, guys, you can use the, 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 I mean, you can use a positive sentence or you can use a negative sentence. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, okay? If I have money, if I don't have money, I? I won't. Very good, okay? I want. I want or I will not go to the mall. Or you can say, if I don't have money, I will go to the mall, okay? You can combine them, guys, okay? Got it? Very good. So the negative structure, guys, is the same thing. It's just you're going to add not. Okay, now, one last thing, guys, before you do the exercise. What is the difference? All right, so what is the difference between if and when? What is the difference between if and when, guys? Um, I don't know. Maybe if for, is for condition and when is for effect. <laughs> okay, all right. What do you think, guys? If is a possibility, uh, when is an act. Mm, okay, very good. All right, you're. I think you got it, but you don't know how to say it exactly. Okay, any other idea, guys? You almost got it, Jose. When is the most specific? You think it's more specific? Okay. All right, very good. Guys, I'll tell you what. Guys, if and when, guys, is like when you say if, uh, si o cuando, okay? All right. When you say when, guys, you basically are saying that that thing is going to happen for sure. Okay. Tenés, casi estás completamente seguro que va a pasar. No sé si alguna vez has escuchado la frase, no es si, sino cuando. No es si pasa, sino cuando pasa. Got it? So that's the difference, guys. Okay, when you say when, guys, you are sure that something's going to happen. Okay, so cuando vos decís when, vos estás seguro que algo va a pasar. Got it? No es si sí o no, sino que vos es cuando pase. Sí o sí. Si va a pasar o si va a pasar. Got it? All right? Is that okay. clear, guys? Do we understand the difference okay. between when and if? Okay, very good. Yes, yes. Uh, very good. So, guys, I have a, I have an example. Uh, yes, uh, with my friend, I have a friend. Uh -huh. If uh, when he go to the work, when he goes to work, goes to work, he will go. He will church. go. No, he will go. Oh, uh, okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Or it will, uh huh. Yes, he will go. It's, it's, this is real, my friend. When he is go to work. When he goes to work. Uh huh. He will go to church. Okay. Cuando va al trabajo, él irá a la iglesia. Yes. Cuando va al trabajo, él irá a la iglesia. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. I don't know. Did you want to say que va a ir a la iglesia cuando tenga trabajo? Is that what you wanted to say? No, no. Cuando, eh, when he, eh, caminar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. When he goes El, for a walk, you mean? 
cuando él se dirige al trabajo, él siempre pasa por la iglesia. Ok, when he goes to work, he... Now, here you would need to use person, simple person, simple person. He goes to church, okay? All right. Now, this, this is simple person and simple person, okay? This is not, this is not a condition, okay? No me estás diciendo una condición. Me estás diciendo dos hechos, okay? All right. A condition we when he goes, okay, when he leaves the house, es como para decir para cuando, cuando se vaya a la casa, right? When he leaves the house, he will go to church, okay? Para cuando se salga de la casa, se vaya a la casa, él va a ir a la iglesia. Va a ir en el futuro. Got it? But what you were telling me is that cuando lo que vos me estás diciendo no era con una condición. Era, me estás diciendo dos cosas en, en presente. Cuando, va, cuando camina, va a la iglesia. Right? That's not a possibility. Esos son hechos. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? So this right here, right? This is a condition. When he leaves the house, he will go to church. Right? All right. Very good. You can also say, you know, when he goes to work, okay? When he goes to work, he will go to church, okay? But this, this doesn't make sense, okay? No tiene sentido que guys see. When he goes to work, he goes to church, okay? That makes sense, okay? Very good, guys. All right. Now, um, any other question, guys? Okay. So this is what you're going to do, okay? I want, guys, five examples in your notebook of positive sentences. Quiero que en pareja, guys, me den cinco ejemplos de oraciones positivas con diferentes pronombres or nouns. Okay, you can use nouns. You can talk about Chan. And I need five examples in negative forms, okay? Cinco ejemplos, guys, en positivo y cinco ejemplos en negativo. Got it? All right. Very good, guys, okay? in couples let's go guys let's go let's go let's go Estamos viendo, we are talking about conditional. Mm -hmm. um, conditional is when, uh, when something is going to happen. If something is going to happen, it depends on another factor. For example, um, I don't, I don't can complete the sentence. When I, uh -huh. I can't, when, not I don't can. I, I can't. can't, I can't complete two sentences. The sentence. I uh, when, uh, when I, uh, use next. it. You can use when, it if you're getting confused with when. Uh, ah, I, I uh, confuse me with when. Uh, when we uh, para stars. Decir lo de amigo, Both of you are talking esto. at the same time, guys. Okay. One at a time. ¿Quién va primero? Uh, oh, yo, yo, eh, <laughs> yo me use. confunde el when. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Ladies first, right? Okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> Perdón. That, that, that's okay. Don't worry. Uh, okay. When, all right. Mira, si decís when, tenés que poder usar if. Si no suena bien con when, all right, no says when. All right. El ejemplo que me dice se oye bien mal. Porque me está diciendo cuando va a caminar, va a la iglesia. Eso tiene que ser presente, presente, right? Cuando va a caminar. Pero mira, si lo pongo, si va a caminar, va a la iglesia, right? If he goes to work, he goes to church, right? It is the same thing, right? So that that's actually a zero conditional. O sea, me está dando una zero conditional ahí. 
cuando estás usando pre simple, simple present plus simple present, that is a zero conditional. A zero conditional is used not for possibility, but for reality, okay, for facts. Mm -hmm. Si vos me estás dando algo que no es una posibilidad, sino que es un hecho, José, no es una first conditional, tiene que usar un zero conditional. Zero conditional, okay. Todavía no, no have este topic, pero zero conditional, all right, is present plus present, okay? And uh, first conditional, all right, is uh, present plus, plus future, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque aquí, cuando se present plus present, está hablando de, are right, you talking about, Hold on. Right here, you're talking about facts. And right here, <clears throat> you're not talking about facts anymore. Okay. Right here, you're talking about possibility. Possibility. Uh -huh. Entonces, decime vos. Si me decís vos que tu amigo va a la iglesia cuando cada vez que camina es un hecho o es una posibilidad. Depende. <laughs> No, no, oí, oí la oración. No, oí, sí, no sí, sí, sí. De tu sea... amigo, te estoy preguntando de la oración. Ajá. Si yo te digo, cada vez que voy a la iglesia, cada vez que voy a caminar, voy a la iglesia, ¿es una posibilidad de que vayas a la iglesia o vas a la iglesia? De verdad. Va a la iglesia. Exacto, right? So that is Ajá. a fact. Ajá, pero quizás porque yo lo estoy traduciendo, porque cuando él va, cuando él va, hacia el trabajo, cuando él viene de trabajar, uh -huh. cuando él viene de trabajar, uh -huh. siempre pasa por la iglesia, o sea, uh, right. a hacer una Inclu plegaria. Right. Right, listen. Uh, incluso traduciéndolo, me estás hablando en presente, presente. ¿Got it? Sí, por eso, pero es cuando él viene, de, cuando él viene de trabajar. So, ok, uh -huh. cuando él viene es en presente. Sí, sí, sí. So, what is your question? Que es when. When, when yes, but, okay, but listen, okay. All right, me estás hablando de zero conditional, okay? Eso ya, ya te lo expliqué. Si me estás diciendo presente, presente, Pero, zero conditional, okay? Correcto. Si vos querés usar when and first conditional, tenés que decir, you have to use present plus future, okay? So, for example, when, when he, you know, when he comes home, we'll go to church, okay? Or you can say, when he comes home, he'll go to church, right? But this doesn't mean what you think it means, okay? Eso ya no significa que cuando viene a la casa va, va a la iglesia. Eso quiere decir, cuando él, cuando él venga a la casa, mm -hmm. cuando él venga a la casa, él va a ir a la iglesia. Got it? It's different. Okay. Okay, más o menos. Ajá. All right? So it's a possibility. Aquí... Tu amigo se puede morir y no ir a la iglesia, right? Sí. But here, when he, when he comes home, he goes to church. Aquí este es un hecho, ¿sí? Las dos están en presente, got it? Okay. All right, olvídate de ese ejemplo, dude. That's all you have to do, okay? Use this structure, all right? When he comes home, he'll go to church, okay? Cuando él viene, venga a casa, ya no es viene, sino que cuando venga a casa, right? He go to church. Do not translate, okay? No, no debería de estar traduciendo, all right? All right, okay. remember, this is simple present, right? Simple present, and this is simple future. Equals possibility, right? Possibility in the present or in the future, okay? Yes, I got it. Right, very good. Thank you. Now, cuando says when, all right? Esto es cuando venga a la casa. Así que él sí va a llegar a la casa de seguro. Mm -hmm. right? But you can also say if. Si sí viene a la casa. Si usas if, quiere decir que tal vez venga, tal vez no venga. Right? All right. Very good. Did that answer your question? Uh, a little bit? It's clear. It's clear. It's clear. All right. Very good. I very got good. it. Continue, guys. Continue. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Buy a house. I will. Buy a house. Uh-huh. 
if okay if i Mr. David, I have a question. Tell me, I am Mr. David at your service. Hi, is um, uh, we we did a um, sentence and if and if I don't have a car I will I will go to the university but como es negativo sería won't yes exactly I won't go to the university ah okay thank you all right when it is if I don't I don't have money I want, I want buy a house. Right, Tiffany? Um, I don't know. When when the teacher come to the classroom, when the teacher comes comes to the classroom, yeah. he. He will he he will sit. Okay. He will sit. Se va a sentar. <laughs> yes. Oh, we are we will speak in English. <laughs> okay, right. We will speak in English exactly. Um. Nancy, you say someone. <laughs> Uh -huh. Can... If if they win, we will celebrate. If they win, we will celebrate. Yeah, there you go. Yes. We will celebrate. Okay. And the same uh, can be negative. <laughs> yeah, you can just say one in negative, yes. Okay. I, I have a question. Tell me. If I use in, in, in negative, the first condition, the second could be in positive. Yeah, you can you can you can do positive and negative and negative and positive. You can or you can use negative negative or positive positive, whatever you want. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, mm, the negative. If. Mm, If you pay late, 
for example, if uh, if I friends, I won't go to the to the park. If I friends, if I... it no, if it friends, I won't go to the park. Or if I don't know. if you if you meet my pets, ah. <laughs> conocen? Yeah, if you meet my pets, yes. I won't don't like. I won't like them. I won't like them. Okay, but then you're saying if you meet my pants, I won't like them, or you won't like them. It should be you, right? Uh, you. Yes, exactly. You won't like like them, them exactly. All right. Teacher, la Tell me. structure the negative sentence is if. Plus, don't or or noun or pronoun. It's if plus simple present and negative. The thing is that you should already know what is how to build. Uh, solo se lo dije así es porque ustedes supuestamente ya saben construir oraciones en presente simple, right? Si yo digo, ¿cómo decís una oración en presente simple en negativo? I don't have money. Exactly, I don't have money, right? So if I don't have money, right? Y ahí puedes usar lo que quieras, o sea, puedes usar una oración positiva después o una negativa, it doesn't matter. You can switch, right? You can say, if I have money, I won't buy a house. Or if I don't have money, I will buy a house. Or if I don't have money, I won't buy a house. Puedes combinarlo como quieras, okay? Right? Okay. And a simple future is I will or I won't, right? I will buy a house, I won't buy a house. Okay. Very good, so continue guys, continue. You're doing good. Any other question, Jose? Thank you. Or Evelyn? No, no. No. Okay, okay very good. We don't have class. We want to learn. Learn. Pero sería if, siempre. If. Ah, uh -huh. if. If. If we don't have class we don't have a class if we don't have a class yes. have a class we won't learn we won't learn good job learned with the at the end we won't learn learn na, 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 learn with n learn uh, learn uh -huh. exactly uh, another one. <clears throat> if you concert will I uh -huh, will be no will we will be we will be. We will. 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 We Pero luego, early, early creo que es luego.
Quiero ver. Ay, no, Ricardo. Yes, I think it's early. Va. We will early tomorrow. Va. Ahora, read. If we go to the concert, we will wake up early tomorrow. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Le veo sentir. Y fui. Uh -huh. Ahora en negativo. Um, uh -huh. if, if don't. If don't. We. Go to. The concert. We want, we want, we want, we want, we Okay, guys. So, anyways, good job, guys. Good examples. I, I don't know. I don't think that you finished, guys, but uh, please finish them, guys, because I will ask them tomorrow as soon as we get here, okay? Tomorrow, guys, is our last day here, okay? It's our last day from this module, guys, okay? So, please be early. Please connect, guys, okay? So, we can say goodbye to each other, all right? Uh, Uh, Evelyn dijo que nos iba a comprar pastel a todos, ¿verdad? Para despedida. So, all right. So, thank you, Evelyn. All right. Applause for Evelyn, guys. Nah, kidding, guys. <laughs> In the moment, I have a cake. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay, all right. Very good. All right, very good. No, uh, so, so thank you, guys. Um, any questions, guys, please let me know. Guys, terminen esa plataforma, por favor. El final exam, I need it done, guys. Okay, so... Thanks a lot, guys. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.